Hello Tangerines from Las Vegas. We are coming at you from the Wynn Hotel. We are staying in a free room right now. Super, <laughs> super awesome. And we get comments all the time. Why would you go to Vegas? It's so expensive, lost wages. This is where you go to lose all of your money. So today we are telling you about all the awesome, fun, <laughs> free things that you can do on the Las Vegas Strip. There's a lot of them. A lot. You would be surprised. So let's just dive in. Since we're at the wind, why don't we start off by telling you all the awesome free things that you can find here. Before you even enter the hotel, there are going to be fountains all along the outside and lush greenery everywhere. So it's really cool to be able to take pictures or just soak in kind of this nature in the middle of the desert. Once you go inside, there are two flower displays inside these somewhat of greenhouse type areas, these big balls of flowers, great balls of flowers. <laughs> there is a merry-go-round filled with flowers as well. It's super, super pretty. Also at the win is the Lake of Dreams hologram and fountain show. This happens every half hour starting at 8 p.m. going until 12.30 a.m. We've been going to Vegas forever and it wasn't until recently that we found out about this, but we've seen two versions of this show. One where a Oh, there's a frog up there. What? And another where there were these two glowing balls kind of floating around and doing some type of hologram experience with lights and everything. Since we have a high floor at the Wynn, it was really cool to have kind of an aerial view looking down at that, but you can still view it if you're not staying at the Wynn from the casino floor level. And I almost forgot at the Wynn, before you come into the casino, there is what I would consider a miniature Bellagio fountain show with music and it's right next to the fountains and all the plants and greenery. Super pretty. This is even before you enter the hotel, but definitely don't forget to check out the flower display because so, so pretty, great photo opportunities. So we are here at the Wynn and we had the pleasure of meeting another YouTuber called Say Hi to Matthew. So everybody, say hi to Matthew. Hey everyone, what's up Tangerinis? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys should definitely go check out his channel and Thank subscribe you. as well, definitely. He makes a lot of Vegas videos. You live in Canada, right? Yep, I'm from Toronto, Canada and I, I like a lot of food. <laughs> 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 Perfect. So um, since this video is about the best free things to do in Vegas, we wanted to ask Matthew, what are your favorite things or what do you recommend for free things that you might do? Okay, so the first one is kind of like an inside joke for my viewers, but it can be useful for you. So if you go to the Cosmopolitan in the high limit slot room, you don't really have to be a high roller to get the free cookies, but they have some cookies and some snacks if you want to grab something quick while you're walking by. If you're looking for an amazing view of the Las Vegas Strip, if you head up to the E Fifth, no, what is it? The 855th floor on top. 800, I believe, yeah. Well, I jumped off the strat and that's what it said. 800? Oh, 855 feet. It was 855 feet, oh, not feet. floor, sorry. I'm like, Did I say that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off the strat and remember it said 855 How feet. How was that? It's scary when you're looking at the end, like, yeah. you're, but you have to just go for it. If you wait like three seconds, oh. you're not gonna you do it. Like, to yes, you have I would, to just, I would yeah. have a heart attack. You gotta do <laughs> I it. I swear. After this video, we're going there. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see him do that. <laughs> so anyway, if you wanna see the view, you can go up for free by just saying you, you wanna check, uh, check out the bar. They have a bar at the top and you don't have to pay it's like thirty dollars to just mm -hmm. go up to see the view. Yeah, and they have happy hour too. Yep. I think that's five to seven or something like that. So if you go at the later end of happy hour, you can catch sunset. Perfect timing. Yeah. So get some drinks and you get that view, and it works out. Mm -hmm. You actually don't even have to get a drink if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can get a free cookie too. <laughs> we got we to find we got to find those cookies there. <laughs> yeah. So you were telling us it's your birthday month, right? Yep. Happy September. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so. Speaking of birthdays, if you visit some casinos during your birthday month, they sometimes give you offers. For example, if you're at Park MGM, they give you $25 in free slot play. So you just gotta go there and get free slot play, which you can't go wrong with that. Excalibur, they give you $20 free slot play. I'm sure there's other ones, that's just to list a few. Also, you know I like pizza. Pizza's oh, yeah. my thing. So, <laughs> if you want a free pizza, if you go to Grimaldi's website, not sponsored, you can sign up for their email and you get a free 16 inch pizza. I got that yesterday and it's, a, it's pretty good. Good pizza. And it was better because it was free. Free, yep. 
All right. Well, thanks for putting in your putting in your input. I was. <laughs> thanks two for giving cents. your. Yes. <laughs> thanks why, for giving your two this? cents. <laughs> but actually, not two cents because everything on this list is free. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you guys, and it was really nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, you as this well. was super cool. Yeah. We're both staying at the Wynn. It was like what a nice coincidence. Yep. Yeah, we were staying here for free. For free. For free. Yes. <laughs> Another fun free thing in Las Vegas on the Strip is pretty new and that is the light show at the Paris Eiffel Tower. They have a replica of the Eiffel Tower, a smaller version of it, and every day starting at sunset until midnight, every half hour, they have a light show lighting up the whole Eiffel Tower. The next free thing that you can get in on in Las Vegas Trip is the Link Promenade. And this is located between the Link and the Flamingo. It's sort of like a pedestrian street, like a alleyway that goes in between the hotels. And this is one of the best places on this trip that we know for people watching. There's also fountains, one that we call the sitting fountain because people just sit around the entire thing. And you can also see great views of the Link High Roller. There's lots of bars and restaurants along there. It's generally just a cool place to hang out and absolutely free. While you're doing all these free things, you're probably going to be using a lot of the public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi is great, but it leads you to susceptible to thieves trying to steal your data and hack into your accounts. I've personally had my bank accounts, what they call a total account takeover, happen to me twice and it's horrible. You do not want it to happen to you. We use a VPN to protect ourselves. We recommend this particular VPN because it is perhaps the most affordable that you can find on the market right now. It's very secure, has fast servers. In case you're not totally sure why a VPN would be useful to you other than protecting your passwords and data, it's also pretty useful while you're traveling to get websites to be in your currency or your language because you can essentially be anywhere that you want to be by placing the VPN or setting the VPN up to be in that city or state or country. For example, I like to watch hockey games using my NHL subscription and my team is the Arizona Coyotes. And if I'm in Arizona, I can't watch that so I have to relocate to somewhere else. <laughs> so you can find that VPN at tangerinevpn.com. If you purchase a VPN subscription through our link, we do get a kickback from that because we are affiliates. But as always, we would never recommend something that we ourselves do not use, love, and trust. The next three things on our free list of things to do in Las Vegas are at Mirage. Mirage is one of our favorite places to stay at the Las Vegas, on the Las Vegas Strip because it's so centrally located and we generally just enjoy it there. But what can you see and do? One is the Volcano Show. You can see the Mirage Volcano Show at night, Sunday through Thursday, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m., Friday through Sunday, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. The next thing is the atrium, which is inside. They have waterfalls in there, beautiful plants, which they rotate out frequently, so you'll get to see different exotic plants basically every time you're in there. And three is the 20,000 gallon tank filled with also exotic and beautiful fish that is located be behind the reception desk. Just don't stare too long or you'll probably freak out the employees. <laughs> What's next on our list? For free, you can see Venice. That's right, you can head right over to the Venetian, which is right on the Strip, and see the Grand Canal shops and what they call Streetmosphere. Within this are canal sort of replicas of what you might find in Italy. The sky is painted, well, the ceiling is painted like a sky, and it dims throughout the day, so it's a little bit different. There are perform performers and mines. Mines. What <laughs> <Land> mines? <laughs> There are performers and mimes, or what I thought were called still artists, because they just stand still and you could tip them to do certain things. But it's very cool, there's also performances that you can find. You can see beautiful murals and of course you can just window shop absolutely free while enjoying this super cool ambiance. 
And yet another free thing on the Vegas Strip is going to the crystal shops at Aria. I swear, every time we walk in there, we're like, oh, the smells. It's, oh my gosh, yeah, it smells so good. Free smells, like Jimmy John says. <laughs> <laughs> but inside there, there are also art installations, sculptures, photography, and kind of a rotating version of all of those things. There's also mm -hmm. high-end shops that you could look in and wish you could afford the things if you're going there for the free stuff, like us. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's really awesome art architecture and inside there it looks super cool. Bonus, it's also air conditioned so on the hot months it's a great reprieve from the heat. As is everything here inside but... True but if you're not looking for like a casino experience then that's yeah. kind of a different thing to shake it up. Next on our list is the entertainment stage at the link. If you're like me I've sort of for the longest time, I've written the link off as a place that I would want to go on the Strip because it's a pretty small hotel. It's kind of just like sandwiched in there. But recently we discovered that they have this stage where they have bands or dancers or various different types of performances. And it's totally open to the public. You could just walk right in and participate. One time we were here, they had like the cha-cha slide going. So you just join in that, have a lot of fun. And it's totally free so you get to enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, they recently rebranded re to the Link Plus Experience and they totally remodeled everything on the inside on the casino floor and it's, if you've been in there maybe a year or two ago, it's totally different now. And I think it's kind of nice. We recently stayed there and I thought it's one of the shortest distances from the hotel room to the strip of any hotel that we've stayed at because if you've been in Vegas before, you know it can take you quite a bit of time just to get from the room to the actual street. But at the link, yeah. it's pretty close. Remember New York, New York? Mm. How long that took us? Oh my goodness. I'll never stay there again. <laughs> never. Never! <laughs> Speaking of New York, New York, another free thing you can do is go there and see the replica of the skyline of New York City. The hotel is made to look like these giant skyscrapers, which is pretty cool. They also have a roller coaster that's kind of going around the hotel. The only thing is, we personally will not go within a hundred feet of that freaking place because that staying there in New York, New York was by far the worst experience we have ever had in Vegas. If that was our first experience, I don't think we would have ever come back. After it, that. Yeah, it, that trip, everything that could have gone wrong did, and yeah. we ended up leaving early. Be like, if we stay here, we're probably going to die. That we're so. gonna get food poisoning or hit by a bus or something. <laughs> so we have heard though some people think it's the most underrated hotel on the strip. For us though, literally, I've never stepped foot in that hotel since that time that we stayed there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it from afar. Enjoy the skyline and the New York skyline in <laughs> Vegas, but just like don't get too close. <laughs> Next on the list, hear me out. Many consider Luxor to be one of the lower end hotels on the Strip, and that's probably true. But there are some really awesome features about it. The Pyramid of Luxor is actually equal in size to two of the biggest pyramids in Egypt. Luxor also has on the top of it the strongest beam of light in the world. Recently, Las Vegas was overrun by grasshoppers and I saw some <laughs> pictures of all the grasshoppers on top of the light. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Uh, well, well, just to jump in here, even one time we were standing outside the Luxor on a normal night, as in when Vegas wasn't under siege oh, yeah. from grasshoppers, <laughs> there were still a crap ton of bugs and moths and stuff flying. You could see them so far up yeah. in the sky, just drawn to this giant beam of light. But with the grasshoppers, we heard it was like insane that they were just mobbing the light. So it's kind of funny. Basically what we're trying to get at though is if you're down on that side of the strip, definitely head into Luxor so you can see the interior of it. It's one of the most unique designs, in my opinion, on the strip. So it's definitely worth checking out. And of course, if you can see that super strong beam of light at night, that's also something that you don't get to see anywhere because of course it's the brightest in the world. What you doing over there? Making a free drink. <laughs> I got a smoothie from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Not free. Not free. <laughs> and I, got, I had a bottle of tequila, also, also not, not free, free. <laughs> but I'm combining them to make a free drink. Uh, mm, this is not one on our list. <laughs> What else can you do in Las Vegas for free? Well, you can head over to Harrah's at the Carnival Court Bar, where you will often find DJs and live music and bar flair when you order drinks. Of course, the drinks aren't free, but the experience is, and it's 
fun to enjoy a nice lively atmosphere, maybe dance around a bit, and you're right on Las Vegas Boulevard, great location to do some people watching and explore around there a little bit, or head to the Harrah's Piano Bar, which is the next on our list. This piano bar is tons of fun. Every time we go by there, it's really lively, especially after dark. It really picks up and there's always people having so much fun there. And one of the best recommendations is to go when Big Elvis is there. He is said to be one of the best Elvis impersonators in the world. One thing I want to mention though is for this piano bar, there usually is no cover from what I'm told. However, I think there is a two drink minimum. So if you don't want to do that though, you can still enjoy the live music from within the casino or outside on the sidewalk. Another thing you can do for free on the strip is get some free gaming lessons. Like you want to play some table games, for example, craps or blackjack. Personally, I hate playing them if I don't know what I'm doing, and honestly, it's kind of irresponsible to be playing a game if you have no idea what you're doing. Especially when there's money on the line. Yeah, so <laughs> if you're interested in that, these lessons usually happen at the lower end casinos and what times and days of the week varies, so just look up for lessons on what game you're interested in. You want more things to do for free? Well, another thing is there are tons of free shows and events all over the Vegas Strip. Honestly, we don't know all of them, but one example of this is bikini bull riding that happens at Gillies, which is located in Treasure Island on, last I checked, Thursday nights. And as you would probably guess, this is where women can enter to ride the bull in a bikini and win money. So free or you get paid to do it. They also have sexy cowboy night. Sexy cowboy night? Oh. Yeah. Why are we in the bathtub? If you want a great view of the strip, head to Delano and go to, what's the place called? Skyfall Lounge. Ah, go to the Skyfall Lounge. It's on the 64th floor. And as a bonus tip, they have their sunset hour from 7.30 to 8.30, which is like their happy hour. And of course, you get to enjoy the sun setting over Las Vegas, the strip, while you get a panoramic view of it. So yeah. that's pretty cool. And that's on the far south end of the strip, so you have views of the whole strip north of there. What else? You can enjoy some free live music at Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill starting at 9 p.m. and that is located at Harrah's, which as we mentioned previously is close to the Carnival Court and the Piano Bar, also the Link Promenade, so generally that area is a good place to go if you want a lot of free things. Next thing you can do for free, one of my personal favorites, is going to the Flamingo and seeing the animal exhibit. There's birds, gigantic fish, flamingos, of course, and it's right near their pool, so if you get on the list at, um, what is it called, freevegasclubpasses.com or you're a Caesars Diamond member, you can get in for free, and ladies also get a free drink there. That is the next one on our list, though, that if you use various websites or talk to promoters, you can get into day clubs and night clubs for free. Just make sure that if you're going to be drinking, do your drinking ahead of time or somewhere else because the drinks can be very, very expensive and that's really gonna set you back if you're looking for those free things on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> Another casino that is packed with free things to do is Bellagio. They have the iconic fountain show. The times for that, we're just going to post them right here because it's a long list to name them all off. What else at Bellagio? They have this rotating flower display that changes five times a year, so it's probably going to be different every time you come to Vegas. It is incredible every time. They have tens of thousands of flowers and these gigantic sculptures and animals and things like that. It's really cool and we never miss it. Also at Bellagio is this incredibly elaborate glass ceiling made of sculptures by Dale Chihuly. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But 2,000 pieces of this blown glass, super colorful, just completely mm -hmm. lining the ceiling right at the conci concierge? No uh, check-in? Reception, yeah. Reception check-in. I, I can't imagine how much work went into that. It is oh, Or how it is expensive. Insane. Have you ever tried to buy anything blown glass related? Whew. It's also right outside of the conservatory, so it's right there, you get two in one, and then just outside is the fountain show. So there you go. Something else you can do for free is visit the Miracle Mile shops. If there's one place you're going to be able to afford to shop on the Vegas Strip, it's probably here. 
These are some of the cheaper stores, but of course you can window shop for free. And don't miss the rainstorm show that happens every day. So, um, I don't know if there's more to this rainfall show than this. Some people find it cool, like the nine-year-old girls across the way who thought it was so awesome! But it's like fog and water comes from the sky, happens in nature, I don't know. Maybe don't go here for just this. <laughs> <laughs> Something else you can do for free is treat your nose and maybe your taste buds at the four-story M&M World right on the center strip. We're almost done with this list, but not quite. What else we got? The form shops at Caesars. Caesars is gigantic. If you're like, oh, my hotel's right next to Caesars and the one that I want to go to, Bellagio, is just on the other side, you're gonna be walking. It is a trek. So you might as well walk through these Caesars forum shops where they have sculptures, elaborate displays. It's it's pretty similar in a lot of ways to Venetian where it's completely decked out. There is something called the Atlantis Fountain Show. There are performers, sculptures, murals. Really high-end shops that you can window shop in. If it's you're a, too poor like us to afford yeah, anything at yeah. them. <laughs> and it's a place where you'll sometimes see celebrities hanging out and shopping. I'm in the form shops at Caesars and I think I may have just had a celebrity sighting. It's Tangerine Girl from Tangerine Travels. Oh, hi. Something else you can do for free is Go into all these hotels and casinos because they're so huge and elaborate. There's something to see in just about every one of them. One in particular that we really recommend going into is the Cosmopolitan. It's super ritzy and glitzy and glamoury. Lots of stuff to see in there. I like this gigantic chandelier surrounding this multi-level bar. It's crazy. Cosmopolitan is also known for its secrets. So when you go in there, you might be able to find some back doors or hop into a shop and find out that it opens up to a restaurant or something else that you wouldn't expect. But if you want to see what we're talking about, you're going to have to head over to Say Hi to Matthew's channel because that's where we appeared in his video when he showed us some of these secrets. So this list, of course, would not be complete without mentioning a very obvious one, and that's for free. You can watch people be ridiculous. You can people watch your heart out all over the strip, in the casinos, on the street, on the walking bridges, pretty much anywhere. Just stand mm -hmm. there and watch the hilarity that will unfold. It does not get old, I promise you. And of course, completely gratis. And there's also some stuff like this to do near the strip. For example, going to Fremont Street. Mm -hmm. The people watching there might be even better than it is on the strip. And the lights and the casinos at the Fremont Street experience. So that's worth checking out as kind of like an honorable mention close to the strip. Also, you won't want to forget the fabulous Las Vegas sign, which is very close as well. And of course, if you want to venture out a little bit more, there's tons of beautiful nature in Las Vegas. If you have a car not too far from the strip is the iconic Hoover Dam that's definitely worth a visit at least once in your life. But of course, Las Vegas is, the Las Vegas trip is not all that Las Vegas is. So if you're looking for other things to do, there are tons of things to do away from the strip. We were just concentrating on this video on this trip because there is mm -hmm. so much to do for free that has nothing to do with gambling or drinking or buying things or spending tons of money. So hopefully this list helps you out in filling up your itinerary for your trip and not spending a lot of money in the process. Before you go, be sure to check out our Las Vegas playlist we are going to put on the end screen. This video is just one of many Las Vegas videos that we have been making lately. It's becoming mm -hmm. kind of a series, like kind of a great series. So hope you enjoy those other ones. They are also to save money and have a good time in Las Vegas without getting scammed, without blowing your budget. <laughs> mm -hmm. But first, one more thing. Subscribe and one more thing. Oh yes, subscribe to our channel <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> So that you will be notified the next time we put out another video. <laughs> and we'll see you soon.